Lafayette, an update on construction at Collie Saloon and E. Broussard Road. The intersection will soon become a roundabout. The $14.5 million project is expected to be completed by mid-2020. Three's on the street tonight. Danielle Garcia joins us live at that intersection with more details on what's to come. Danielle. Marcel, Jim, driving down these streets in the south side of Lafayette can be quite the headache, but public works officials say although construction causes problems now, the finished product will come as a big relief. We're standing at the edge of what will be the future roundabout. With more and more growth in the south side of Lafayette, an extension of Cauley Saloon is being built so that there will be two lanes on each side of the road along with sidewalks. As you're coming down Cauley Saloon at Grand Point, You'll continue essentially straight, come over the bridge, and then through the roundabout at E. Bouchard Road, you can either go straight to the right or to the left. Colliste will soon continue and connect to Q Road. Apart from the construction on E. Broussard, you'll also notice a lot of traffic. The prime times, like, um, I guess early, around 8-ish or so, and then in the afternoons from 3 to 5 or so, it, it's really bad. It's pretty hectic, yeah. It's pretty hectic right now, but hopefully once they have the turnaround completed, it'll be much better. People who live, work, and go to school nearby say the traffic at the intersection can sometimes add an extra 30 minutes to their commute. So how is this going to help the people in the area? Like, what does this really benefit? It moves a, a greater volume of traffic, especially compared to red light. Um, there was a stop sign here before because of crashes. The DOTD put in this red light, but it's not as efficient. Now the roundabout will be, number one, safer than a stop sign, but also increasing the efficiency of people moving through the intersection. Hopefully it's going to help and relieve traffic or make it flow better because there's so many neighborhoods that have built up in this area that at, again, at those times of day, it's, you can have a long uh, wait to get home. And construction workers will begin pouring concrete on the bridge behind me this Thursday at 7 a.m. Public Works officials say this will increase traffic, so if possible, avoid the area. We also have a map of the construction plans on our website, ktc.com. Three's on the street live in Lafayette. Danielle Garcia, KTC TV3. St. Martinville Mayor Melinda Mitchell.